Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Inscription, uh, where today I'm hoping we'll have as productive a session as we had last time. We, we made a lot of progress there. We got punished for it, but it was still a lot of progress. It does bump me out a little bit to have to start at the beginning of like a whole new run here. Um, before we engage with you, just real quick here, Alpha and Squirrel. Okay, this is what I'm trying to remember. I'm sure that producing this board state will be high value. Alpha's a, okay, a five bone creature. Okay, uh, there's nothing for us in there. I'm not allowed to pick up any of the figurines. And we did, we did run this, we did run this one puzzle and it didn't do anything, but just out of curiosity, uh, can we... Okay, nothing. Nothing and I'm assuming nothing, but again, yeah, okay. So hopefully any of those cards that we need are just gonna be in the deck for us already? Oh, hey. You're a caged wolf. Okay, that's interesting. Don't know what to do with this. Kind of looks almost like a like a stretched out footprint or a handprint maybe. Um, but we know there's one more talking card somewhere in the cabin, right? My guess is it's one of the things on this wall. And if it comes right down to it, I'm prepared to brute force the clock. There's a thing we could absolutely do, right? Let's see, though. Let's see if the game provides. No, you may not choose a specific beast. Well, okay. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. We're going to play tribal. Okay. Well, again, I, I'm not allowed to look at my deck, right? Yeah. So this is like lizards, dinosaurs. This is not... What have we seen? This will have like skinks and stuff. Obviously, birds, you're gonna, you're gonna get a little, uh, <clears throat> words, you're gonna get a lot of flying creatures, which is cool, uh, or bugs. We have the stink bugs still, so we have a little bit of an end to this tribe. I mean, birds is probably very powerful, right? I kinda wanna, I kinda wanna see if we can get ant tribal really working, though. The underappreciated ringworm. Its value is not readily apparent. Boy, you're not wrong about that one. A randomly chosen insect card. Did you wish for something else? No, that's pretty much what I asked for. So I don't really know a lot about what like a what ringworm is like. In, it's a real thing. Um, maybe maybe if I knew more about bugs in the real world, it would be easier for me to tell what that's going to do for us. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carving then gestured at them brusquely. Choose. Okay, so this is the sigil that will be awarded to our critters. I mean, if we're potentially playing, like, insect tribal, we're going to have a lot of cheap stuff, I would imagine. So, level ups. Oh, it gave, it gave me the squirrel head, though. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. I don't know. It might be squirrel. It might be rat. The fledgling sigil will now be marked upon all of your squirrel creatures. Okay, well. That's interesting. I have no idea what a squirrel is going to fledgling into. Ah, yes. Move and push. Okay. So I guess we should try to get... Should we try to get our caged wolf killed? Probably, right? And I want to let my squirrels grow into whatever they're going to grow into. But also... Also, we got places to go. Alright. I'm going to intentionally get our ringworm uh, eaten and see if that does anything fun. And then you know what? Give me give me a squirrel in a in a thing. We're gonna leave a squirrel on the table and see what it turns into. It turned into the elder squirrel. 
<laughs> All right, I guess. Uh, let's definitely get a bullfrog. And then maybe next turn it's like draw squirrel and then sacrifice the bullfrog and the squirrel to the caged wolf. We keep the elder around because, you know, it's like actually not a bad card. My assumption here, obviously, uh, is that the caged wolf, the caged wolf dying, will uncage the wolf statue in the cabin, probably, right? And if we're gonna be getting these like tribal bonuses, enabling something on wolves feels like it's probably a pretty good idea. All right, do we draw other stuff, or do we just try to like play a ton of elder squirrels? Some of the cards in our deck are still pretty good. Let's, but let's squirrel. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. Finishing this match the slow way is going to allow us to acquire some overkill potentially. I accept. The thing is, I do value my own real-world human time to some degree, so. All right. Uh, ooh, we do not get to stay on theme with our previous choice. Well... Elk seem pretty good. Wolves also seem pretty good. Give me, yeah, give me wolf cards. Sure, wolf comes great. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Okay. Probably wolf head. Although... Wolf cards with sigils on them is maybe like a little bit less good since we just, you know, the young wolf already has that and everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. Yeah, let's do that for right now. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. This does add an interesting wrinkle. That caged wolf. He hid that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. Yeah, no, I'm getting it. Also, it's me. Hey, how you doing? Uh, yeah, so the ringworm still does not actually seem to have uh, very much value, as far as we can tell. You're about to play a pronghorn, which is like an annoying card more than anything. Whatever I play over here in Squirrel Town is going to be relatively safe from it. Why did the stoat's head get all weird? Does the stoat have a card in his... Hmm. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to keep you alive. We'll, we'll see. No promises. Okay. So. Squirrel into ringworm. Hmm. I don't know if that was right. Because what I was thinking there is like the only thing I can think is that the ringworm might do something to people that kill it and we just didn't have time to see it happen last round. But it's going to take a long time before the stink bug is directly, appro uh, directly opposed by anything. I probably should have just played the stink bug here, let it eat one damage from this, and then the pronghorn moves. And yeah, I think I may have, I may, I may have goofed it a little bit there. Okay. 
It does not make any sense to sacrifice for this bullfrog. For right now, we'll just keep this up. The question is, do we just... Yeah, I guess let's just scroll for the bullfrog here. So we're generating bones and stuff. Um, this bullfrog is just going to die immediately, but I think it's fine. You know, and it's you shouldn't just ignore the damage output, right? Like we are actually we are actually killing here. Hooray! Wolf cub with a sigil on it, incredible. All right, go forth, friends, victory. The industrious beaver, when played, it constructs dams adjacent to it, and it's also okay. It's just holding wood, I guess. A dam is O2. Okay. Turkey vulture and the bloodhound. We know about the bloodhound. The bloodhound is canine. And honestly, it seems pretty good as cards go. Um, obviously, the turkey vulture also totally bananas, but I feel like we do not get to eat bones pretty much ever. want to gain some power on a thing if we go this way we won't we won't get to go to this thing my hope is that at this we will be able to acquire a sigil we'll be able to keep the wolf head thing going but acquire a sigil that does something other than fledgling so yeah i think i am gonna go this way okay who's getting burned it's the bullfrog, probably. Sorry there, friend. You're just kind of, like, not in theme. <laughs> so who wants to gain the ability to block flyers? The caged wolf does. A wolf in a cage. But how to break it? Yeah, gee, I wonder. Oh, actually, that's curious, too. I wonder what that... I, I do wonder what that'll do. Okay, we got some incoming coyotes. Well, let's make with the wolf cub here. This is going to hurt. Uh, and then... I think we have to, sadly, I think we have to burn this wolf. I'm gonna be, am I dead? Hold on. So I'm thinking here, we play squirrel, we sacrifice for the caged wolf. And then we play stink bug. I think I have to pliers here to avoid immediately dying. But I am really curious what the caged wolf is gonna do when we flip it. Oh, no, wait, sorry, I wouldn't immediately die, because our as things are now, our wolf would reset us to m the middle. If I do this, I do have to use the pliers, though. But I think I want to do it. So you block one of them. You get down here and chomp the other one. And then on the AI's turn, I am gonna I am gonna take two. So, sorry everyone. Let's see if it ended up being worth it. <laughs> Elder caged wolf. Well, uh, so I'm gonna deal one. Then take three. So I have to draw Squirrel and just play it in front of the Coyote to survive, right? Just just to hold on for a second. We might have to use this hook if we want to keep pushing forward. I was hoping not to have to. But if we hook the Coyote right now, it does 
put us in a victorious position. Not not immediately victorious, but you know, it puts us in a good a good line. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Oh right, sure, draw a card, yeah. Um So I guess I'm gonna pull this. I wonder if sacrificing the caged wolf would be enough to get it whatever it's get it to whatever it's supposed to be doing. I was kind of hoping flipping it over would, would open it. Yeah, I think we have to do this or die. So let's just go ahead and do it. And then I don't want to play anything. Because now we're going to do three and we're going to, yeah, we're going to get plenty of cover on health here. Do I squirrel for ringworm? I don't even know. I guess... And to eat an attack from that otter. We'll figure out if you do something eventually. Okay, and our friend here seems to just be kind of out of cards. Okay, having the caged wolf on the table at the time of a battle victory, did not do the thing. My suspicion is it, it has to die, but I figure it was worth worth testing some other options while we had them. Uh, and I forgot this was take a card instead of uh, be visited by the old lady. Um, a bird? The magpie, the covetous magpie. It can fetch any card in your deck. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a little expensive, but... Alright, I could use some items. Um... Hmm. I legitimately do not know if Black Goat is better than Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, I guess let's take it. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. That's cool. I feel like establishing my cards is like so critical though. Oh, yeah, no brainer. What an incredibly good item. And hey, look who it is. That smoke, it is great indeed. Got that greater smoke. A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. Figure emerged from the fog. All right. Hmm. Just thinking about that wolf. No, I know. I get it. It's important. I may have goofed things up a little bit by putting this sigil underneath the, uh, the wolf. It's going to be really hard to get that thing to die in combat now. Uh, so the stink bug has two health, right? Okay. Let's... Squirrel. I guess I'm just gonna play the greater smoke. Like we'll, we'll greater smoke here. Burn the squirrel squirrel for the wolf cub, of course. Yeah, this is this is an okay start. We don't need to be in a big hurry here. And in particular, I am concerned about um In particular, obviously, I'm concerned about phase two. So for right now, we're going to have a really good turn. I guess I'm just going to draw... I'm going to draw main deck. <laughs> Easy, boss. Just pop that mule. I know, I'm working on it. Okay, theater's annoying. That's a, that's a problem. Uh, is it worth... Yeah, I guess we can squirrel here. Establish me a stoat in part because in the long term I do not care about this stoat. Yeah, there's just nothing we can do to save our wolf, unfortunately. I, I guess I could have sacrificed the wolf and taken the point of damage to my face. 
No, because doing it this way, we kill the prospect. We move into phase two. Oh, no, right, except for the mule. Or the mole. I have to say, I'm surprised that the mole is able to do its thing twice. I don't think we'd ever seen that before, had we? So, what's my plan right now? My plan is to play stink bug in front of the adder. Stoat kills the pack mule. So I guess we just want a squirrel. Yep, so you give me all this stuff. Dang, nabbit. Okay. Oh! Corpses are in no short supply. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing this sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. I do not have such a card, though. Interesting. I wonder if we're in control of when that's going to happen. So I think I'm just going to... I'm not going to do anything this turn, right? Because we're going to... Yeah, we're going to win. And then he's going to gold all of the cards that are currently out. So I think I'm going to draw a main deck here. Okay, that's fine. Sure have struck gold in just the most annoying way. You know, I don't know if there's a hand size limit, <laughs> but I'm not allowed to move these uh, these gold nuggets. So, all right. Interesting. My death card's not in here. Huh. Okay, not how I was expecting things to be. Uh, so the River Snapper... I'm thinking about like Squirrel, Squirrel, River Snapper just to eat the wolf. I'm not too worried about the two damage from this guy this turn. But maybe it's, it's probably better to establish the Caged Wolf. I use the Black Goat. Yeah, I guess this is a place where the Black Goat is valuable. It's not about accelerating with the blood. It's about getting more blood out of a limited amount of space. That's interesting. So we could do both. All right, let's let's go ahead and squirrel, squirrel. I am gonna play my river snapper. And then there's just a question: Is it worth? Taking the squirrel and the black goat into my hand. Squirrel into black... And, and doing squirrel into black goat into cage wolf. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do it. Because, like, elder caged wolf is a super annoying card to deal with, right? <laughs> Hey, surprise, I drew a squirrel. Alright, uh, Skunk is 03. I don't actually have a thing that's gonna deal damage to that snake, which is annoying. Uh... And the magpie has, like, very limited value. I guess I'm just skunking over the squirrel. <laughs> just sort of hold equilibrium here. Gosh, we got a pile of bones. So close to actually losing my Elder Caged Wolf. It was a weird one, but we got there. Need a light. I feel like I should get something for my bone overflow. Canine, hooved, reptilian, feathered, insectoid. The amalgam is all. That's cool. That's a cool card, actually. Give me that. 
Oh, that's right. We didn't start with our death card in our deck last time either. I had to take it after a boss fight, I think. After the harrowing encounter with the Prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Let me think. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Well, there's only an item thing on one path here, so I feel like we probably ought to go that way. And I think we need one cost cards at this point. The elusive river otter. It submerges itself during my turn. Yeah, it seems fine, I guess. Oh, oh no, you can't use that. What are you? To the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. I, I mean, we have to try it, right? This feels like, this feels like the kind of thing where I'm being lied to. Plus it'll be, you know, it'll be fun in its own way if it turns out to be true. Okay. So what are you rocking here? A raven's egg and a kingfisher. Okay. Well, wolf cubs bananas. I feel very strongly about established wolf cub. And then I guess... Next turn, we'll do a squirrel draw, and, like, maybe I black goat. Because, like, ringworm's obviously pretty bad. But we could, we could caged wolf in front of the raven egg, and I think that's actually pretty good. Oh, except when it flips over, it doesn't have... Did it still have the flying block when it flipped? I don't think it did. Well, whatever. It'll, it'll slowly eat the raven either way. Or, or I could just wait a turn and squirrel draw into Cage Wolf that way. Because I'm going to do three here, then I'm going to get, I'm going to get got for three, right? Because the raven's two, two, or two, three. I am worried about the tempo a little bit. I'm going to try holding off. Let's let it let's let it happen slow. Okay, yep. The river otter is an annoyance for sure. Okay, squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah, okay, it did keep flying block. Uh, so at this point, what I'd really love to draw is something that costs bones. Yeah, salutations. Uh, well, I think stink bug right here seems very natural. The more I think about it, the more I think stink bug's actually just an amazingly good card. Two, three, bone. Hmm. Well, I am I am legitimately curious what a three blood card looks like. I think in almost every situation we would not play it. We do have the goat right now, though. I, l let me get another bone. Ah, it's Reginald. Reginald of the Touch of Death. That's a pretty good card, actually. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. 
I mean, in spite of. Come on. Um, yeah. Flying wolves, I think, is, is good for us. Let's do that. And this way, my wolf, my caged wolf will stop getting tougher. <laughs> you hunt down to place her offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Pretty fun, pretty good. Um, no blood to start with it means I think we are probably cracking the black goat this turn. Yeah, they're going to have a hard time dealing with the amalgam. Okay, let's just go ahead and do it. Nope, sorry. It was a misclick. He knows. It's just being difficult. Uh, do I want to play it across from any of this stuff? I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Sure. We need one more bone to play Reginald. So I play a squirrel. It's not going to have any effect at all. Yeah, I think I need to draw. Okay. Because we either needed to I, we either needed to draw a one cost and a squirrel, or we needed to draw like stink bug. All right, so then things get evened up. But then, but then the wolf cub, and also Reginald. But then Reginald and his wolf cub. Uh, so. We want to play the wolf cub here, right? So it'll just fly over the stump and Reginald here. Cause I don't like, there's no reason to let you play the mantis, but also you're just dead. So, Hmm. Is there a way for me to see? Yes, there is. Okay. Ah, and also this is how I see my deck. I go up above the map. That is very counterintuitive. So we have six teeth right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna take cards over pelts. I think. Or a card singular rather. Ooh. Oh, this card's so good. How could we not, right? Um, hmm. The black goat's been very good to us. Obviously, scissors is like insanely powerful. Um, yeah, scissors is scissors is probably too good to pass up. Wow, coming down quick. Um. So we definitely want to wolf cub this first turn. And I guess I just put it across from one of these kingfishers. That'll keep it alive. All right, so now we're swinging for three. But we're gonna get caught for four. No, we're gonna get caught for all five. So actually we're dead unless I item, no matter what I do. That's not true. We can use the ringworm to buy a moment. We can, we can just kill the coyote. Feels bad. What the hell is this ringworm for? I think realistically what I have to do is cut up the coyote and then just draw squirrel twice so we can play the amalgam. And then we just we just win with six unblockable damage. We can try the green stuff and see if it actually is something. 
Yeah. All right. I'm serious. You cannot use that. There is no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. Aha! My advice, avoid it. I knew it. I knew it was something. Okay, then we do, I believe, have to chop you up in order to not, not lose. And for right now, the wolf will keep us at parity. And then we go squirrel into amalgam. This deck is not functioning quite as tightly as the last one. Okay. So we win. I also play the ringworm. It turns out Flying Wolf is just super hard to overcome. The inevitable maggot. They will lurch forth from your hand when your creatures are killed. Okay. Porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. And a river snapper. I think we need more cards that are played with bones. It'd be very helpful. Uh, I don't know what the mushroom does. Let's find out. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through the uh, thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. And we are performing our experiments far from... from... Uh, we are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We, we will need two of the same creatures? One for each of us. Ah, that's why there's a mushroom indicating when you have... Yep, okay, I see, I see. Oh, oh dear, you, you don't... You have no duplicate cards. T take, take one of ours. We will use it next time. Yeah, that's why there's a mushroom. That's actually, that's interesting. Um, corpse maggots are so costly that I don't know that we can afford a second one. But also, another two blood card right now, I think, is a tough sell. I'm gonna take the corpse maggots. You know, they, they play for free sometimes. That's, that's good stuff. Okay. So we got through the angler last time, but I felt like our deck last time was super powerful. The mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. And a huge man approached. Okay. Now, the loss of flying wolves is uh, bad. It's going to be a problem for us, for sure. Let's definitely establish some of this. Gonna be gonna be tough for them to deal with that. I may want to save the greater smoke for later when he starts doing his whole thing. Because we know we can we know we can distract him. Yeah. It's gonna have two flyers. So I think I think I do now just play the greater smoke. Yeah, I'm more okay with him having that. And then next turn we can double squirrel into Bloodhound. And... What happens if he tries to pull Okay, it does. That works just fine for me. It doesn't really matter where we play a Bloodhound. Okay. So there goes phase one. And then this is the part with all the sharks, right? 
Okay. Well, I mean, my creatures are flying. I feel like I'm in a fine spot here. If he's not going to play any ch sharks or anything, we just... Yeah. What if we just didn't interact with the bait buckets? Nothing wrong with a good, strong, non-interactive strategy. The Holy Mantis God, a perfect incarnation of terror. That is a neat card. The Stalwart Mole Man, the ultimate defense. And a Gek, sweet Gek. Um, the Mantis God's pretty fun. That's <laughs> that's a neat card. Yeah, I'm taking I'm taking Mantis God. Moving past the pond, you took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. Hmm, oh yes, I know. You know, the one that comes next. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone-shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line. So, we should probably take this left path so that we can re-item. Bummer. I was really, like... Insects and canines both would have been fine. Um, bird, I guess. We got a, we got a thing going on. Okay, Kingfisher's a fun card. Hmm. Probably at this point, I think it makes sense to pull one of these. And then, yeah, scissors for sure. Let's get in some trouble. A lucky draw. Lucky draw. Okay, so you increase the power, yeah, even if they're not the same type. It's not great. It's not great. Um... Boy, am I already thinking about chopping that thing up? <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Because I'm going to get... If I cut it up, we don't get attacked for anything next turn. We just have, like, lots of time to establish. If I let it go... We could, we could be in some real trouble real quickly here. We're going to take three next turn, and then... And then... They're going to have the flyers. Uh, yeah. Yep, I'm going to do it. Oh, I do I, okay, I have to actually let the, the turn happen. That's a shame. Well, let's... The stoat can absorb some damage, I suppose. Yeah, it's gonna have to do. I think we probably want squirrel. It's very difficult to get like your first your first good card established. So next turn I'm gonna take really like an insane amount of damage. Here's where we get to the downside of my, my cards not really being interactive. Um, so we squirrel, sacrifice the squirrel and the stoat for the amalgam, play the stink bug in front of the wolf cub. That means that on my turn, I take, th on, on their turn, I take three. But I deal three right now. We get to save our scissors. It's not so bad, I suppose. I think I want to play the amalgam in front of the alpha. So we can absorb a little bit of damage here. And I don't I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. 
So deal four now, then take four. This dies. Ugh. Maybe I do end up needing to cut it up. Because we're going to have to draw just naked next turn. And if I'm going to cut it up, I cut it up now. Or wait, no, I'm going to take... Yeah, I'm going to take six. Yeah, because this will be a 2-2, two -two, and this will be a 2-2, two -two, and they'll both get plus one. I think I do have to just get rid of it. This situation is actually still pretty ugly, even with the cut-up. I think we don't do anything. Yep, then I squirrel into a kingfisher. And now we're just trading the same five points of damage back and forth. Okay, but they're not playing anything at least. I mean, if they're not playing anything, if that continues to be the case, okay. I was gonna say, I don't have to do anything. Uh, now I have to do thing. I have to do like a pretty desperate thing. Reginald was an interesting draw. Reginald was a very good draw, actually. We are, sadly, going to have to break the piggy bank. But... Reginald here lowers the amount of damage I'm taking in a way that is absolutely necessary for me to survive. Yes, I do have you here. I am inclined to... He keeps offering... Like, there's an item. I can't... It's a, It's like a feather. It's like a gilded feather or something. I'm inclined to take that over teeth, especially because I don't particularly want to engage in pelt stuff. I mean, rarer cards are... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm undervaluing the overkill teeth. All right. Trial of Power, Trial of Kin, or the Trial of Wisdom. I don't... Hmm. Can I look past you for... Yes, I can. Okay. So, there are only three non sigiled cards in my whole deck. We're definitely not doing Kin. Power is actually pretty unlikely to pass. Okay, <laughs> we got there. Even with drawing the stoat. Absolutely trying to sabotage me at every possible turn. Well, feels like the alpha is extremely good. And also, like, this gives us a slim chance of creating the, um, the board state depicted on the wall. All right, yep. Carvings. Ooh. Oh, that's really good. All right, we'll see if I we'll see if I regret choosing this over the flying, but it does help to solve a problem that we're having. Stupid, stinky elk. Okay, no canine in the opening hand. And just, just the worst, the worst elk you've ever seen. 
Oh my god, this actually sucks so much. Stinky is really bad for us here. This is so bad for us, actually. This is like... Because if, if the thing they grow up into is the 2-4, there's no way for us to win this battle. I'm reasonably sure there's no, <laughs> there's no way for us to win this battle. Uh, Alright, well... Let's... I don't want to play the stoat in the one space we have open here because um, I think we're going to need this for a better creature. But we do need to just create some bones. All right, I'm going to have the stoat just block for a second. This stoat is eventually bones. Okay, a pretty a pretty valuable thing to have drawn. Not so relevant now. So hold on. Perishes by combat. Yes, it does not work if you sacrifice. Yeah, we we we're, we're just dead. Like there's no version of this battle that's winnable. How disappointing. Because, like, what are you going to do against an infinite number of 2-4s when all of your creatures are down a power, right? Even if we did still have the flying, this just means all of my creatures are doing zero damage in the air while getting murdered. Um, let's go for a try. I need better cards. I don't need more cards. I need better cards. Four blood, five bones, or... Okay, we're, we're doing a Trial of Wisdom again, for sure. Wow. Two of the three cards in my deck that don't have sigils on them. Well, that's pretty bad news. All right, who's given up their sigils? I think it's probably corpse maggots. Like, I don't actually want two of this card. I just wanted more things with the corpse icon on them. <laughs> so who gets who gets played this way? The amalgam. Yeah. Mole man and damn, damn, that's a, that's a lot of moose. That's a, it's actually like a huge problem. I don't know what the hell to do about a three, seven. I guess the, the answer is out to damage it, which I guess we can kind of do. Yeah. All right. And then... Yeah, that's not too bad. Tried to buy us as much time as I could. Um, I mean, it's gotta be just squirrel into magpie, right? So, we want to grab the alpha, right, the, mm, right, the amalgam, the amalgam's a 3-3. Three, three. Do I get to control where it goes? In its place. Okay. Okay. 
So it'll be a minute before that actually happens. The moose buck's gonna hit me again. I'm still gonna, I'm, I'm gonna grab the amount. Shiny. All right, well, we're almost through the mole, the mole man. Oh, right, no, yeah, flying creature still gets attacked by, man. How do the rules of games work? Can anyone tell me? That was a fun draw. So the mantis god is going to slay, well, actually, no, the wolf will kill here. Then the mantis god will do one to the mole man, two to our opponent, and so we win. The Mantis God is pretty serious. That's a that's a heck of a card. Uh, definitely headed toward items. Okay, basic wolf, absolutely fine. Hmm. Frozen possum is actually interesting. Let's do Frozen Possum, and then, gosh, um, I actually don't know. Sometimes we do really need bones. Yeah, all right. All right, the trapper. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. He's got a lot of traps and whatnot. It's fine. Don't panic. I do hate his traps very much. I was going to say, like, but... There's not really a butt there. I just hate them. They're, they're real bad for us. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and break this now and just get Reginald down. Right, because Reginald's going to kill the strange frog in one and then trade himself for the trap and leave, give us an opening. And when he trades for the trap... We're gonna get a, the, the opening that he leaves will immediately fill with a creature, so. That feels pretty good. Do I wanna also throw down the possum right away? I suppose I do. Yeah, may as well. And remember, we do have uh, we do have an hourglass still, which is just like phenomenally powerful. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull from here. Okay, Stoat. Bad news for you, my friend Stoat. You are getting used. Okay. So in this situation, no, I do not get to choose. This is the one I would have chosen anyway, for the record, but I was curious whether I'd get to choose, so... How many bones do I have right now? Three? I think I, I think I deck draw again. Okay, that's, yeah, that's cool. Um, I think I wanna let this play out a little bit more before we go playing Samhain. Right, cause I certainly don't wanna just play her into the trap. This is awkward. It's like, this thing's gonna come down, it's gonna kill the amalgam. When it does so, the amalgam will be immediately replaced with the alpha. No, 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 the alpha's gonna end up in this space already. During my turn. So then, I guess then we're 
talking about playing Sao in there. It means I don't get to sacrifice. Well, wait. When you sacrifice a thing, it does not perish. I'm trying to remember, because it does it does like a little refresh effect. Do we know if it actually like? Would doing that restore its health, basically? Does it get replaced with a new copy of itself? I don't actually know. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna try it. No, okay, it does that little refresh effect, but it doesn't really mean anything. That's all right, the Kingfisher was a really good draw. So we can clear this out at very little cost to ourselves. Which is awesome, that's very good. My frozen possum gets a, uh, gets a point of power. Interesting that he doesn't get to attack, though. Because he got that point of power while this space's attack was being processed. So I'm surprised it didn't get to do anything. Um, so the alpha... The alpha's providing the blood for Sao, and I guess, yeah, we just... Okay, cool. Um... Yeah. It is a real bummer that that attack didn't happen. So this is just lethal. All right, what does this second phase really look like? Cycle must continue. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I didn't realize that the trader and the trapper were the same, okay. Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay and fight for me. Okay, I see. So how does this work? Because I want these. Uh, <laughs> geez, yeah, these are good cards. Um, I want the moose buck. I want... Do I have... I can't I can't look at how many bones I have right now. I don't think we're that far off of the turkey vulture, honestly. The grizzly's awesome, but I don't think I'm going to be able to play it. So it's, it would be a purely defensive pick. I think we have to take the whole back row. I think we have to. As scary as that is. So we have, an, we have a wolf in play. Damn it, let me... Five. Well, I'm gonna use our hourglass here, I think. So... I think I definitely want a squirrel. <laughs> So I just win now, right? Because you don't attack on a pass turn. So Sawin does enough damage by herself. I think. Uh, and then we, oh no wait, this is a stack of, this is a stack of five coins. So we have six bones. So I don't actually, like we can play squirrel and then wolf off of that that down and then yep and then you pass and then I win because the hourglass is wildly overpowered the hourglass really is bananas you will not perish quite yet so what comes after this Mantis God, the <laughs> I have no words for this freak of nature. It looks like a Resi Arf, if I'm honest. So that's a fascinating card. The thing is, Mantis God's great, and also I kind of want to have a thing for the mycologists if we see him again. I know that we we already have a double because they gave us a double, but like, let's get a double double. 
Mantis God is great. With the enigmatic tra uh, trapper and trader now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. So, because of the way that fight works, there is some value in just getting pelts and carrying them forward and not, not trading them for anything. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. We will need another map. Oh. Um, I'm on zero items, yeah? Okay. Probably, right? Ugh. Not exciting choices this time. Well, we sometimes do need that little, that little hitch, the little kickstart. And scissors. Okay. So this is the cabin... Is this the cabin that we are in right now? Well, there's a door, but it's not... No, I don't... It's not... This is not a window. And there's not a window over here. And we know that this door goes into another room anyway, right? Because we've seen some portion of the inside of the walls and stuff. So, never mind. This is not the cabin we're currently in. But it is a spooky cabin nonetheless. Your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. Its warm light a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. Surely. Okay, sure, of course. Um... So we cannot go into the woods. I'm just going to take a quick look to the side on each step. I do not like the way the light is moving across the... Uh... It shouldn't be doing that, right? Nothing's moving. The light sources are stationary. So that's concerning. Hmm. We're going to look for a secret path each time. Actually, I, I probably... There could be stuff to click on as well, I suppose. <laughs> did scare the heck out of me just a little bit. What's this? Steps away from the strange cabin, you are presented with an opportunity. Eleven. One of the hands goes to eleven. Okay. Can I look around this? Nope, I cannot. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. My rewarded mightily. How do sounds work? The trial of the Find. The three drawn cards must include a card with the waterborne sigil. Not likely. The trial of rarity. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. Maybe? The trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Do we have a ring? Can I look at my hands? I cannot look at my hands. Okay, well, I think this is the only one we have even a chance of passing. Let the trial of rarity begin. Okay, cool. Ah, Mantis God is a rare card. Success. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. The boon of the forest. You will start a battle with grand furs on all of your spaces. That sounds more annoying than anything. The boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. That's an obvious winner. The boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. I don't think that's as good as draw twice with the way this game's rules work. We will repeat that once more. This is going to be some matchup. Uh, Trial of the Winged is a little easier for us. Trial of the Swift is not likely. The three drawn cards must include a pelt card. Okay, so we're taking this one. <laughs> yeah, we were not likely to succeed on any of those. Failure. Okay. 
Well, I mean, how hard is this going to be? It got me again. It did get me again. You managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition. Okay, just gonna... You know, they, they left us the ability to turn in here for a reason, right? There must be a reason we can turn. It might not be a thing we have access to just yet, but there must be a reason. Cool, great. That's exactly what I was hoping was going to happen. And into the dark cabin. Oh. You took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? I guess so. I am not allowed to look around. Yep, all, all I could do was W. I hope you are adequately prepared. Me too. Perhaps one more to be safe. Well, that's just cowardice. Malcolm incoming, which is certainly scary. Well, I mean, let's feed the greater smoke to the amalgam. Get that going real fast. And we got to start work on this mole man, right? And also just establish bones. You're going to need some bones. Actually, do I want a wolf? Maybe I shouldn't have played that. Maybe I should have just squirrel in a bottle for the wolf. The thing is, like, there's so much battle to go here. It's really hard to know. Let's do it. Sorry, Stoke. I made a misplay. draw yep and then draw normal again I think okay interesting so I was really hoping to draw something that cost bones it's got another amalgam which is going to be a problem So we play Kingfisher off the wolf, and then we feed the Kingfisher, yeah. So I'm gonna kill the, I'm gonna kill the mole man. An achievement you can't see it there but I just got an achievement called uncage the menagerie so I assume that that wolf statue is freed now what was that also I apologize this is a little bit loud I might turn this down a little bit yeah let me let me just let me just a little because in, in my headphones I don't know if it's too loud on the recording but in my headphones it's definitely too much let's take it down to like here all right, sorry about that. Uh, well, need real creatures. Stink bug's a good draw. We got so many bones.
We're gonna lose. We're dead. <laughs> I'm super dead. Uh, wolf cub's good. <sighs> yeah, we're just dead, right? Because like, there's no way to deal with. Or no, you know what? You know what the problem I'm having in my head is. I I have had a flying amalgam enough times that in my head the amalgam just has flying. That's totally not the actual case, though. Unfortunately, what is the actual case is that we can't do very much about... Like, I think I have to cut up one of these, play my stink bug, and burn it for the wolf cub to sort of, like, start getting established again. And that sadly does not quite kill. And then... Yep, yeah. and then we take a really huge amount of damage. There's a lot of cards in our deck right now. Uh, if we... If we squirrel into the Bloodhound, he's just going to take the Bloodhound. I don't know what happens if, like, okay, I'm going to take a squirrel here. I don't know what happens if there's no, like, fresh choice for him. Because if I just play the squirrel as a blocker right now, and accept the trade. The squirrel dies, and then there's no nothing will be highlighted, and I, I don't I assume he'll just pick one of these two at random, and if he takes the gold nugget, then like hooray for us. Cause that's not gonna be there. Oh no, he's gonna take it on his turn, right? So actually He takes it at the end of my when does how does this work? Do you take it now or do you wait till your turn? Okay, then this is awesome actually. That's like wonderful. Mantis God. What a good card. Oh, my dude, Reginald. Reginald, I love you so much. Hey, give me a squirrel, too. Alright, uh, Reginald was a fantastic draw. So, it's squirrel, bloodhound off of these two in this position. Reginald for the amalgam. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, that's a problem. What do I do about this? Uh, <laughs> like, another issue is that... So my wolf's dead. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna clear this phase right here. I don't know if this ringworm's worth anything at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it. Let's pass. And hope that the phase change means he doesn't actually get that thing. Are we doing a rules change? Okay, we are doing a rules change. Ooh. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures. But the true challenge was forthcoming. Well that's a shame, because I used all my resources already. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. Ah, I remember that one fondly. I see, I see, I see. Okay, well. Mantis god of my own. I mean, I want to play my mantis god, right? We said burn the ringworm for it. And then I think I can just let the rest of this... Yeah.
trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. I'll take this one, thanks. Reginald's a problem. Opposing, opposing Reginald's an issue. Uh, so... Yep, for sure. Excellent. Okay, my own salad. So... We're in some trouble here. I'm going to deal four damage across, which I guess is enough that I don't die. Right, the wolf will deal three to Samhain, the mantis god will kill the bat. Oh yeah, no, I'm fine, actually. Yeah. I forgot that the bat was going to die. Oh, here comes the gold nonsense. Oh, that's a problem. Well. I win, though, right? Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we get, we get a candle here. Mantis God. This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes, but it provides no value to my board. I wonder. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> now that is value. Can I, can we, um, <clears throat> the moon? card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. It does one damage and it has 40 health. I see. Well, I will draw what I am allowed to draw. Um. Well, I don't have a play here, so. Reginald, did you just kill the moon? It did not even occur to me that that might work on the moon. You really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. Okay, well, I'm going to draw squirrels. Um... Wow. I uh I am surprised. Oh, Did I just I think I just made him. Oh. Huh. Okay, well. So this episode's getting a little long, but I don't know if we're going to be able to safely quit here. So I guess I'm just, I guess we're just going to press forward. Um, I might, in post, I might break things up and make this a separate episode from the thing that just happened. I guess by the time you're watching this, you already know if that's occurred. Um... So when we first launched the game, do these controls actually work? They totally do. Um, how do I back up? Okay, escape. When we launched the game, it did make like a like a VHS playing sound, and it said, "Let's see." There, there was a voice that said, "Let's see what's on this thing." It could have been this person's voice. It certainly wasn't like anything that we've seen in the game so far. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right. Next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the, uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is Bandog. Not exactly riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come. Just cut out this part. Okay, so immediate thoughts. Uh, first of all, the game that he's talking about, it seems like the cards are are like woodlandy creatures. They're like maybe Pokemon a little bit, but like a dog and a right. So like maybe there's some connection there with the stuff that we're seeing. Also, I don't actually I've never watched a pack opening video. Like I know this is a real thing people do. They don't do it like this, do they? There must be like I would assume you would get a camera that is aimed like from above down at the table so that people can see the cards as you're like fanning them out. I, I don't know. Like I said, I've never watched any of them, so I guess I don't really know how you. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of inscription. You would not hmm. believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil Mantis God goes for a couple hundred bucks, so fingers crossed. <laughs> that makes sense. Mantis God's bananas. Really cool art. Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Hmm. Cool looking card, but not going to be worth very much. All right. Let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Huh. Uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. Who opens and reseals a pack? Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think... I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. Yeah, go go grab your phone. Probably a good idea. Um, I do want to. Can we? I'm gonna turn off the bar here and just see. I wish I could grab the bar and move it around. So there's not really a visual difference. I thought they might have done something kind of sneaky here because of the fact that the closed caption bar overlays it perfectly. But it might just be a coincidence. It's got a couple of D20s, a lot of cards of the other thing, a lot of cards of the other game. It's very interesting that the inscription card we're shown does not look like any of our inscription cards. All right, you guys. I'm out here 
living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. Getting close, I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of- He, he went out there alone. I mean, all right, hold on. We're gonna reload that video. This is an easier way, easier way to get back to the front. Very annoying. Uh, yeah. Resolution, not awesome. Okay. There, there are frames in there where, where it's a little bit more legible. After attacking, skeleton perishes. I mean, it's a very, I mean, a big surprise. It's very magic y templating. Huh. Boy, we're not going to be able to make heads or, heads or tails out of this at all, huh? And again, it would help so much if I could just, like, examine individual frames. Gee, I wonder why they would make that difficult. All right. That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Hmm. Every time. You got to come prepared. <sighs> okay. All right, this is it. And now we dig. Sorry, I turned these back on. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, only one way to find out. What the fuck? Is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, are you seeing this? I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Okay, well, I mean, first of all, that ain't gonna run. Uh, secondly, that makes some sense, though, right? The sound the sound that I thought was like a VHS player starting was, in fact, uh, a disk drive accepting a disk. Could be. Actually, hold on a second. Is there an A drive on this computer? <laughs> nope, there sure isn't. I built this some time ago too. Can we get anything interesting out of this? So he's got a squirrel. He's got a little wooden squirrel. There's a mask. I don't, what is that? Oh, it's a good box of playing cards maybe? PlayStation controller, some more D20s. Okay. 
I'm sure there's useful information in these. I just don't even at this point know what I would be looking for. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Yeah, that's what he said, right? Can I tell you, I'm a little disappointed. For a moment there, I thought maybe it was going to programmatically insert the mouse movements that we made on the men the menu the first time we loaded up the menu. Like, remember me trying to like trying to load the options and failing? That would have been a neat little trick. Um, and it doesn't look like there's anything else to do here. So I guess. Yes. That was interesting. Um, I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please, do not be polite. Dig in. I, it's, uh, is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. Well, I didn't say I wasn't gonna, I just... Stand right there. Okay. Not allowed to look around. Please, do not be foolish. There's no film in there. I mean, I figured, but I don't have any other verbs right now. I will need that. You, Challenger, are a champion, and I wish to commemorate your victory. Please, inscribe your name. Um, I'm gonna use a different name than I used for the other death card, just in case, because... No, wait, we did end up... I'm going to use a different name for this than I used for the other ones. We're going to put SB on this one. I'm just curious. Shh. Do not despair. You are a winner. I feel, I feel like a winner. That makes sense. How is this game not over yet? The last challenger managed to defeat me. A rare event. Go and ask how they did it. You will find them hanging from the door over there. Oh, your starting deck. Um, cool. I'm gonna just, if you don't mind, uh... Okay, not ha- like... I thought there was a chance, <laughs> you know? So, do we know, we don't even know which hand was supposed to be the one at 11, do we? Oh, you know, it showed a circle and there was an orientation. We can, we can divine which of the hands is at 11 at the appropriate orientation, perhaps? Or no, it's, it's the same for all of them. They're all pointed left. Okay, well, well this one's not exactly. Hmm. Black goat and squirrel. This is much easier to accomplish. That that seems very doable. Um mm. cool. I do not own a hat like this. So I think your camera is screwed up there, friend. But also look at this. I got a I got a wolf. Do I put the wolf here? Okay. I got a sick knife. 
You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. Okay. The pain is unbearable. Even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. I can imagine. May that dagger find its mark. You must be brave. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Um. Huh. Well, uh, hopefully y'all will forgive me. I know that we're like on a roll here and stuff is happening, but also uh, it's been nearly two hours and I do need a little bit of a break. I, I was not prepared for this uh, recording to run this long. Uh, I'm going to call it here. We're, we're deep suspense, but when you come back next time, I swear we'll resolve at least some of it and hopefully maybe also some of whatever the hell is going on. And we'll see you then.